Spoilers. I hate spoilers. Now I know you think you know what a spoiler is. You don't. So I will explain. But first, here's a list of everything that may be spoiled in this video. When you think of a spoiler, you probably think of someone telling you like a character dies or some secret that's essential to the plot or something like that. And while that is a spoiler, I would call it anything that I, the viewer, would have liked to find out on my own. I don't look at trailers, I skip anime intros, I don't watch reviews, I don't even want to know the star rating of something I'm about to watch. And that is because once you know you're about to watch a product, all coverage is now a spoiler. You're going to see it anyway. Now you probably think that I'm doing too much and that's like way unnecessary, but I promise you it is. Great example, Across the Spider-Verse. I have known about that movie since before it even had a title. And I did what anyone else would do when a sequel to their favorite movie was announced. I blocked the word Spider-Verse. I skipped every trailer. I didn't watch anything. Nothing got through my wall. And let me tell you, I was better off because of it. But before I tell you why, I'm gonna take you through a little experiment so you can better understand what's coming. Spoilers, I guess. This is Mike. Mike, I'm gonna punch you. How did that feel? It hurt. Cool. So moving on from that. Now how did that feel, Mike? Nothing hits harder than the punch that you don't see coming. So flip back to me in the theater and we're watching the best part of the movie where Miguel pins down my... Pause. Where Miles is pushing off Miguel and he goes, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. And I literally explode. Like there was so much perfect in that movie, but that scene just... So I'm out of the theater watching the trailer for the movie I had just seen, as you do, and I cannot tell you how disappointed I was when the most important line of the movie, the perfect payoff to two hours of buildup, is just dropped in the trailer like nothing. That sucks. I can't imagine how different my viewer experience would have been if I just knew that was coming. The punch still would have landed. Don't get me wrong, but I don't want a love tap. I want to be knocked out. I was already very anti-spoiler, but after that, I went off the deep end. This philosophy spread to books and- Yo, editing heart here. Uh, I was gonna have like movie posters go up the screen here, but they had like the villains on them and I, I, I don't want to get spoiled. Anything that I might possibly like watch or perceive in the future, I skipped all trailers for. And it's been great. I haven't been this assaulted by the entertainment industry in years. But you don't believe me. You just think I'm crazy. So I'm gonna talk about something that I know that you know, Star Wars. Now, I am not a Star Wars fan in the slightest, yet I can't acknowledge how big of a franchise it is. But I think you would agree with me when I say it's pretty lame nowadays. Blame Disney if you want to, but when it comes to the main story, it doesn't really excite anyone anymore. And I think I know why. It's because every aspect of Star Wars has been spoiled to you before you can even watch the movie, for me at least. I knew what a lightsaber was way before I saw any Star Wars movie. Luke, I am your father was a common meme for me growing up. But I want you to imagine. The year is 1977. The most exciting film you've seen was this boxing movie that came out last year called Rocky. You're sitting in the theater watching this blonde boy and a space wizard comes up to him and hands him a laser sword and starts moving things with the force. Now, you don't even know what that is, but it's the coolest thing you've ever seen. So this dude starts learning how to use his magical powers and laser swords to kill this super evil dude, Darth Vader. Fast forward five years of hype and two super epic movies later, you find out that this dude was his father the whole time. That would absolutely blow your mind. But for me, I knew that already. So nothing hit. Call it suffering from success, but from all the memes and parodies and Phineas and Ferb crossovers, I saw every punch this movie had coming from a mile away. Now think about all the TV shows, the movies, the video games that have felt so underwhelming because you knew what was coming. The films that you skipped out on because the YouTubers told you it was bad. The video games that lost their charm because you knew every outcome before you even touched it. So I'm making a simple challenge to you. Skip the trailer. Don't watch the Let's Play. Give yourself the gift of a plot twist again. And once you do, I want you to come back here and you don't have to thank me. Just tell me how hard the punch was. Real quick. Zero, zero, zero.
This year, God willing, we're gonna hit five million subscribers. So if you'd like to be a part of that, subscribe.